All right, there's a request for Fossa once again. And this is a request signed for Jordan the 80 man. And the name of this video is Beware of Children at Play 1989 Movie Review. It's a Vinegar Syndrome. So this is some movie. All right, let's check it out. Yay. That, that Beware of Children at Play. Never heard of that movie. Evil kids? Is that what it's about? Something uh, about this movie that just didn't sit quite right with me. But then there are aspects of this film that I really, really like. We open up. By the way, guys, I apologize if if there's noise going on outside. It's literally raining. Cats and dogs outside. If you can't see that, it's tons of fucking rain. It's super annoying, but please ignore it. I apologize, but can't do anything about it. To the story. Back to the video. Man and his dad were out in the woods. His dad was caught in a bear trap, and the young boy. Well, we just kind of jumped ten years, not knowing what happened to him. We are in a small community, and kids are starting to disappear. Um, although they're still being sighted around about the town, and adults are just vanishing completely. There's a mystery going on here, and the sheriff has called in his good friend to come and help him out, and uh, he is a writer of. A dubious reputation. John DeWolf, what? author, lecturer, and get this, folks, ghost hunter. <laughs> okay. Uh, Isn't that right, Mr. DeWolf? When was this movie it's made? Kind of, uh, silly it's very old. Um, Real movie. Just looked down the point, and he comes to help him try and investigate what exactly is going on in this small town. It's an interesting setup that has some intrigue to it. It has a kind of mystery at the heart of it, although you kind of roughly know where it's going to go, it's still set up fairly well. But there is some seriously inept filmmaking going on here. And oh no. Normally, I can. Is it a two on the corn sequel? Another bad one? Feeling aesthetic of movies that can be interesting, but when things are just out of focus, you've got to scratch your head and wonder how the hell did they get away with this? Look at this. We tried everything, John. Oh my god. This is fucking terrible. Every possibility. How does that make it into the movie and in a prolonged sequence as well? <sighs> now, of course, the acting is um, rather up and down. Some of it can be pretty good, some of it can be this. Your daughter is missing! Why aren't you out there looking for her? Father, you anyway? Your acting sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's terrible. It's fucking trash, man. <laughs> but that kind of adds to the movie as well. And as the movie goes on, it takes you down a certain route of bleak darkness, which is strange because this is a really bright, colourful movie that's mostly shot during the day. That gives you say a daytime horror feel. What's the colours? It's a bright light, and yet we are headed down a deeply dark path, and that's what's taking me to. By the way, there's another video somebody wanted me to react to, and I'll include in this video as well. So there's two reactions in one video. So it's, 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 it's something to do with this movie, too. Really so stay tuned for that. Some people are just truly awful. Ugh. It looks like his fucking legs are backwards. I am starting to lose Hopes, my interest. In Hopes this and pussy isn't get offended by this. Showing a bit of gore. And selling this one on, and then the ending happens. Now, ending. I, I'm a great proponent of. It's not about the ending all the time. It's about the journey. You know, the the, the characters change. What over does the ending do? To, to sometimes. There is an exception to the rule, and I think that Beware Children in Play is definitely an exception to that rule. What happens? As we get near the end of the movie, there are all these town folk that start to be riled up by um, all this religious rhetoric to, to really create a fervor. You have groups of kids who have almost gone feral. Um, they need to die then. 
creating their own community Welcome. and uh, cannibalizing uh, their parents. What are they saying? I can't hear them. In the movie that are, are interesting enough, of course you need to kind of pull that for yourself from the movie. But the last five minutes of this movie leads me to a sequence that is jaw-droppingly bleak, dark, and just unexpected. What happens? Tell us. Now, again, it's not exceptionally well done, but the fact that they have just swung and swung hard at this ending just puts a smile on my what face. What happens? Thinking that they actually went for this. It is dark, bleak, and bloody, and shocking, and so different and unusual from other well, movies. What happens, man? Tell us. That ending almost made up for some of the weaknesses that the movie had before that. It's a what? movie that I'm going to have to revisit. It's a movie where the ending really does make the film. Then so tell us, man. We're tired of waiting. Just tell us. It. The rare children that play was in it. I'm going to tell us. Inconsistent acting in it. Sometimes it was exceptionally fun and great. Like the opening few minutes um, are, are wonderful. The final few minutes are just terrific. A lot of what comes in between is a little bit um, grating, inconsistent, and a little bit tedious at points as well. Some of the characters are just not that interesting. And they're terrible. Some are fun, but they're few and far between. Beware Children to Play. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I cannot wait to hear what it you Looks weird. It. Sounds weird really to me. I mentioned exactly what that end sequence is in mm-hmm. case you do check it out. But yeah, I want to talk about that. So come on, folks, let's get those uh, comments rolling in and we'll have a little talk about Beware Children at Play. As always, there is more Quentin up here. You can see more of my stuff. If you want to stop me from being cannibalized by these wild children, hit that like button below. And if you want to give me that extra bit of support, you can uh, support me on Patreon or the membership program, which would be fantastic. It really helps this channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Man V Phil. Mm. I'll look for the other video that I mentioned earlier. Hold on. All right, I found it. One child is born. One child. It's supposed to be the ending that guy was talking uh, about. Accessory to murder charges. This movie looks old as fuck. Oh damn. He's dead. Run! Ooh. Oh damn, kill him. <laughs> He's like... Oh. Ooh. Yeah, this is, this is very disturbing. Oh damn. Yeah, Susan Pussy you might get defended might get offended by this kind of shit. Oh my god. God, that's fucked yeah. Jesus. I'm about to check this movie out now, it's so interesting. Oh, damn, going to cut his head off? Oh, Jesus. What is that? A saw they cut his head off with? Jeez. This is kind of violent. (laughs) Oh, he's not dead. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, Susan might not like that.
God damn, what was that? I mean, I know there are killers, but you have to do that to them? There wasn't like any type of psychic, any some type of asylum they could go into? Just had to fucking execute them all? This movie looks crazy. I'm gonna leave them there. The paramedics gonna come and say, "Who killed all these kids?" That's also a lot of them too. It's hard to see because it's so fucking grainy. The fuck is that guy still alive? What? Was that another kid that survived? Okay. So this is your fucked up disturbing video of the day, folks. Hopefully I don't get age restricted because this this person requested two videos, but hopefully this one the last one won't get demonetized. Well, I don't know how to censor my videos, so hopefully I won't get hit with a fucking copyright claim, but we'll find out. So what that said, thanks for watching, take care and oh uh, that's nice. That's nice. See if it's still running out. Your Uller is running out of fucking storm, bro. Like, it's running the fucking storm. <sighs> I guess kids die, the fucking rain dies. I don't know, but. Huh. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. See you guys later. Bye.